Happy holidays, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Shelly Roy Show. I am your host, Shelly Roy, and we have an amazing show for you guys tonight. Fully packed, fully, no fully loaded. You guys are in for a treat tonight, you guys. I pray that you guys are having a great week so far. I pray you guys are being safe and sanitized. We have an amazing, I can't stress enough, an amazing show for you guys tonight. Um, I want to first start off with thanking our sponsors. Our sponsors are very important. I want to start off by saying that the Shelly Roy Show is sponsored by Liquid Lipo, where you can lose up to a pound a day. The Shelly Roy Show is also sponsored by Fruit Affordable Fitness. We're also sponsored by Triple Eye Candy Party and Kids Rentals. You guys, we have some amazing, amazing guests. I can't stress that enough. I hope you guys are having a great holiday. I hope you're ready for the holiday season. Super excited to be here. Up next, after the break, we have Mr. Allen Genesis. We also have Miss Donna Haynes and singer, songwriter, Miss Beth. We'll be back after the break. Welcome back, guys, to The Shelly Roy Show. I am your host, Shelly Roy. My next guest is a entrepreneur as well. He's an influencer. He's also the CEO and founder of Genesis Modeling Agency. You guys help me welcome my first guest, Mr. Alan Hudson. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much for being here. So let's get into it. Yes. Tell everybody who Alan okay. Hudson is and okay. what's your story. Awesome, so um, my name is Alan Hudson. Um, my new name is 
Mr. Genesis. I love it. Yes. <laughs> I started to say that because that's how I refer to you all the right. time. So saying Alan Hudson kind of threw me off because I right. know you as Mr. Jensen. There you go. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Um, well, do you, do you know where I got the name from? Do I do know? not. Oh, Tell me about it. Great, great, great. Yeah. So uh, growing up, uh, my mom has always been religious. Okay. Uh, I, had a, I had a curfew up until I was 21. Wow. So... Just okay. because I got out of high school doesn't mean, you know, I can Absolutely. still go out and have Absolutely. You still have morals. <laughs> right, Respect. right. Respect, yeah. Um, now I'm a grown man, and now Absolutely. I live on my own. <laughs> yeah. But you still take those morals with you, Correct. Right? Correct. Good. Correct. She's in my head every day. Absolutely. Um, but, um, yeah, so, you know, we had to do Bible study every Sunday. Um, we read the Bible all the time, and Love it came to that. a point in time, you know, I wanted to start a business. Yeah. And um, with that, you know, my mom was just like, well, the name has to come from the Bible. So I, I like, love that. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love that. So I would look through the Bible, um, and of course, the first book is Genesis. Yep. Right. It so is. it popped. It was just like, OK, this is the first book and it means the creation of something new. So it's my first company, Genesis Level. So very befitting. Yes. That makes so much sense. So on top of, you know, you being biblical and mm -hmm. having that biblical background, what inspired you to want to get into the modeling realm? Hence, you know, blowing up into having the modeling agency. Got you. So uh, don't laugh, but I, I thought won't. I was going to go to the NBA. Like I just knew I was like. Like it was gonna happen, but and I'm, I'm garbage. Sure you got some handles, but <laughs> I could see you doing what you're doing. Right, because with fashion um, and everything. Yeah, with fashion, you know, my mom. We were very heavy on um, wearing like Lacoste and Ralph Lauren, like yeah. things like that. Um, and I grew up in that culture, yeah. so I guess like with me loving fashion so much, I'm not afraid to wear pink, purple, orange. Yes. I don't care. Love it, vibrant. Your outfit right now is One just like. Same. Thank you so much. I wanted to do something nice and vibrant and pretty Correct. that matches my personality, but then also for the holidays. So thank you. Correct. Thank yes. Thank you so much. Yes. For sure. So let's talk a little bit about being an influencer. Ooh, so please. for me, um, I'm still new to social media, still trying to, you know, I guess find my balance with it, having a business and being a entrepreneur, just okay. trying to find that balance with how to promote, when to, pr when to promote, because I know social media has, um, I can't remember the terminology, but um, there's like a numbers game to it. So to Like an algorithm. An algorithm. Yes. That's exactly the word that I was looking for. So <laughs> explain to me a little bit about that, because Ooh. I need help with that, just like I'm sure the rest of you guys probably need help with wow. being an influencer. So most importantly, with being an influencer, um, people need to understand the reason why it's so important is because once you get to a certain level, you can make so much money. Yes. Um, it's crazy, like, the amount of time and the amount of money I've made since starting the Instagram is insane. Wow. Just having a platform where people are following you and they admire what you do. That if you is have so something important. to sell, you know, it's just... But hard, too. Right. Very hard. Consistency. Yeah. So before we go full-blown into the influencer, how long have you had your modeling business and how did the ability and the education that you got with the influencing Ooh, help you? Great question. With the so if it wasn't for Instagram, I wouldn't have a modeling agency. Like I literally oh, okay. built it on Instagram. So really? yes. Okay. My very first model call, I put it on Instagram. Wow. So, and everybody who came, I, I didn't even know them. Right. So it was crazy. The fact that just putting a post on Instagram made 50 people come out that wow. I didn't know. And that's Instagram. So you're so lucky, though, <laughs> because you did that with one post. So did one you post. already have like a huge following before that? No, one post? actually, I didn't. But, I, you know, I always I was like a little popular in the area, but not really like, you know, right. so I can't believe that you weren't popular. Just a little popular. <laughs> I, I don't buy that. Do you guys look at this guy? You guys buy that? Like <laughs> modest, you know, <laughs> yeah, I see. there's nothing wrong with that. Yes. Nothing wrong with that. Appreciate it. But no, it, if it wasn't for that, it's. And then after I did that, then we did another shoot or another event. I posted right. another flyer and just kept building, 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 and wow. it exploded. So do you feel like with the influencing and building your platform, mm -hmm. what do you think helped with that? Was it the consistency? Was it the timing of mm -hmm. when you post? Because that's what I struggle with even now. Right. You know what I mean? Correct. Um, I think um, the modeling industry and the fashion industry is so popular mm -hmm. on social it media. Is. Like, look the way we Thank dress you. just to do certain things. Yeah. Um, and then I think most importantly in the DMV is really not that many modeling agencies. That's true. So the fact that I had something like that, you know, on my belt, it's like, oh, cool, it's a modeling agency. Let me try it out. So 
That is so true. Yes. Um, the other thing I was thinking, um, once you did that, mm -hmm. um, did you do like any educational tips on how to build your platform and how to become an influencer like YouTube? Because I think I've done some research, but um, doing the research is one thing. Okay. Comprehending and understanding it is another, but then acting, putting the action behind it. Got it. Is what the hardest part is. So Ooh. did you like educate yourself in that way, or you just kind of? So it, it, to be honest with you, how I got up to thirty thousand followers, um, we did wow. a photo shoot. Um, Chris Brown has a clothing line called Black Pyramid. Yes. yes. And you know, I yes. came up with an idea. Nobody wanted to listen to me. I was like, we should uh, buy his clothes and we should go and do a shoot with his clothes and try to tag him in and see if he'll repost Smart. us. And he did. And he reposted us like four times. Wow. <laughs> But I think it has a lot to do with your following, too. You would see, that's how it, like, just, like, it, like I think wow. at that time I was, like, maybe at 5,000. But then once, that's you know, he reposted us, it was, that was it. Wow. Yeah. It that's went viral. Amazing. Yes. That is really amazing. So tell me what your experience was working with Vogue. And then it come Ooh. from you basically building your platform. Correct. Becoming an influencer. and. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like? So I learned um, one person can only do but so much. True. Right? So very true. With me having several models, it gives me several opportunities to work with bigger brands. That's true. So um, when our first model got published, her name was Corey. Okay. Um, it was outstanding because we did it here in the DMV. Wow. So it wasn't like she had to go to New York. That's she had good. to go, you know, so we did it home. Um, and then from there, we got another one, then another one. And it was just like, oh, is this really happening? That's amazing. What did that feel like for you? Like it didn't feel real. It it felt like I was dreaming at the yeah. you know at the time. I'm like, this is really going on. I could imagine, you know? definitely. And it's something that you said that's really important too. We don't have that many modeling agencies right. here in DC, and so that's what brought me to you as well because I was looking, you know, to do some modeling. Right. And every time I went to go Google mm -hmm. or you know do the hashtags and things of that nature it's on social media, something. it's always in yeah. New York or LA. So yeah. I think that was more impressive for me because it was within reach. Correct. Because it was, you know, based in D.C. Mm -hmm. So how many models do you have with your agency right now? And how do you go about scouting those age, those models? And what's the criteria that okay. you kind of look for? So when I first started, I'll be honest, uh, I thought the more models, the better. So mm. I was going to like 100, 200, 300 models. Like I was going ballistic with it. I'm sure. Yeah. But now we've it's got it down to, to like 40. Okay. Because like you said, it's a lot to manage. And yeah. then I feel like we spread ourselves thin by having so many different models. That's true. So I like to keep it exclusive. So now like I'm super picky. Like we're not going to maybe get any models be. until like March 2021. Yeah. <laughs> no, you have to be super picky. You Correct. have to be careful about your brand. Correct. You know what I mean? Because just because they're, you know, quote unquote models or say that they're modeling mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily mean that it lines up with your brand. That so true. you definitely have to be super picky. So yes. I appreciate that. Yes. Branding is everything. Oh, so man. tell me a little bit about your team. Is it just are you a one man show? No. Or? OK. So I have a couple of people that give me a lot of headaches. I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. Managing personalities and yes. competing tasks. Yes. Um, But I did learn from trial and error when I first started. I was hiring all my friends big mm. no-no uh, uh personal they take everything personal yeah you know which is not like no offense to them but it's just like as a business it has to be you have to learn how to separate the two correct the business from the personal correct and it's hard to do yes definitely hard to do so, so what like just based on that like i start looking into like when i meet other people like mm -hmm. i'm already interviewing them in my head and Good. they don't know yeah yeah no that's smart <laughs> that's smart Super smart. Yes. Yeah, so now we have um, a marketing team. Um, we have someone who runs our technology and build apps and different automations awesome. and things like that. Um, we have a booking manager so she can help the girls find jobs and the guys too. That's awesome. Um, yes. So that was the next thing. So once you have the model come in, do the interview, mm -hmm. and they sign on with your company, mm -hmm. you it's like a one-stop shop. You get them on board. Correct. And then you actually find them work. Correct. Consistently. Yes. That's great. Yes. That's really great. And that's why the, the process is, I'm so picky with it because um, they have to have a certain look for our clients. You know, our clients are very picky on what they want. Yeah. Um, even if you have a certain color hair that doesn't go with their brand, it needs to be very mm. standard. So. 
Wow. Like if you have orange hair or blue hair, like your job's gonna be very limited. So. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. No, it sounds like a lot of work. Yes. But it sounds like a lot of fun. It is. You help create and build, you know, amazing art and amazing Correct. work because that's yes. what modeling to me is. It's just another variation of art. Correct. Um, so what would you say to an aspiring entrepreneur? Ooh. Um, so my message would be, um, dang, that's, I have so many messages, like a thousand just went through yeah, my head. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's going to be hard times. Absolutely. Um, it's going to be a lot of times when it's going to be a roller coaster. Yes. And you got to always remember your why. Yeah. Why did I start? Yeah. You know, what's keeping me doing this I love you that. know and just keeping that in your head and manifesting the life that you want yes at just the time the manifesting for me yes absolutely yes absolutely um one last thing before Please. we ask what your social media handles and things of that nature okay. is um what are some of your success habits I'm interested Ooh. in knowing yeah Ooh, I got real warm in here when you <laughs> <said>. <laughs> I know you got some good ones, though. You're um, very smart. So, number one, um, you have to have a set schedule for your personal and your business life. Yes. You can't just have a schedule for your business life because you're going to forget about your personal life. Yes. So, literally, if I have to um, go and do a dentist appointment, like, that has to be on the schedule, schedule. and blocked yes. out. You know? Because every minute counts. Correct. Absolutely. Every minute. And then you can't, you have to have a cutoff time, too. That's true. You know? That's another thing because if, if people are calling you all day and texting you all day, you'll never have time to get the task That's done. That's true. And we were just having that conversation. You have to really have a set schedule for yes. business hours and adhere to that because we're guilty of saying, okay, our office hours are 8 to 5, but then when we get that text at 7, we respond. So it's, it's very important to yes. create that business schedule and yes. adhere to it yes. as you know our own. Uh, entrepreneur. So Correct. that is very important. No, um, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, man, because I, I feel like with you saying like you have a lot going on. Yes. I'm, I'm, I feel special that you even text me. Absolutely. <laughs> we had to get you on this show. Oh, thank we you. definitely had to get you on this show. Yes. So before we go to break, tell everybody what your social media handles are, your website, okay. and how they can reach out to you. Awesome. So um, yeah. my social media handles, um, you can find me on Instagram, which is my biggest platform. It's Alan underscore Genesis. Yes. Um, and essentially, um, the YouTube will be coming soon. Yes. I love this, what's going on. Yes. Um, love but, YouTube, uh, too. Yes. Yes, YouTube is great, right? Uh, but yeah, Island underscore Genesis is where you can find me on Instagram. Um, my website, if you're interested in becoming a model or if you're a designer or a brand who needs content, uh, you can go on GenesisLevel.com and you'll find everything there. One-stop shop. Yes. You guys <laughs> go look him up. Genesis Level, guys. Thank you so much, Alan, yes. for being here. Of course. We'll be back, guys, after this quick break. <laughs> I did amazing. Singletary.com. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I got next. Ain't nobody say nothing. <laughs> you see, I didn't even know. <laughs> I said, I got next. Ain't nobody say nothing. <laughs> Is 
Shorty Roy Show. You're now going to the Shorty Roy Show. Welcome back to the Shelley Roy Show, guys. My next guest is an author of Cincinnati Doe. She's also the founder and CEO of DMV Moms. You guys help me welcome my next guest, Miss Donna Haynes. Welcome, Donna. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Shelley. Absolutely. So first off, I want to say, how are you guys doing doing during this pandemic and are you guys being safe and sanitized? Absolutely. We're doing great. Good, good. Um, because you look I, amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> I had to try to live up to your standards you did a that. little bit. <laughs> you did that. You did that. <laughs> yeah, but we're doing great. I have a son who has an underlying condition. He has a traumatic brain injury. Yes. So if he were to contract COVID-19, we have no idea how it would, would affect, affect his body. Yes. So we have to be super cautious and making sure we're careful about where he goes, who Absolutely. he's around, social distancing, the whole nine. But we're doing fine. Thank Absolutely. you for asking. I'm so glad you guys are doing fine. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so good to meet Cam and to see you guys both. So mm -hmm. let's get into it. So who is Donna Haynes and what's your story? So I'm Donna Haynes, everyone. I'm a born and raised in the DMV okay. area. Um, two kids, regular old mom, ex-wife, okay. the whole nine. Okay. But my family, my entire family has been impacted directly by gun violence, Absolutely. which is what led me to create a support group. It's called DMV Mothers Like Me, okay. actually. And um, it prompted me to be a new author, actually, during the pandemic. Congratulations. Yes, thank you very Definitely. much. So how does it feel to be a new author and what was that process like? Oh my God, I didn't mean to be. Yes, of course. <laughs> I didn't mean to be an author, but um, because of what we have gone through, why don't I start by explaining to the audience what yes. actually happened? Um, as I said, all of us have been impacted by gun violence. Um, three of us were not actually injured, but my youngest son unfortunately was shot in the head as oh, wow. a result of a uh, attempted robbery. But after numerous brain surgeries, months of uh, rehabilitation, he survived. He is Amen. a walking miracle. Amen. Yes. And so during that process, while we were spent several days in the hospital, I kept a journal okay. to help me kind of cope, try to track, you know, medications, just things that were happening during that time. And just like most of your viewers during yes. the pandemic, it made me slow all the way down. He was shot two and a half years ago. Okay. But during a pandemic, I had a lot of time on my hands. Absolutely. So I picked up that journal and I started typing it up just so right. it could, he could have it to look back on, reflect on, so he would know what actually happened to him. Absolutely. And the more I wrote, the more I wanted to write, the more emotions started flowing, the more I remembered. And before I knew it, I had a full manuscript. Yeah, and so it happens like it that. does it it, really on accident, happen. right? Yeah. And so I went to my son and I asked him, "Hey, Cam, what do you think about publishing this and making this an actual book?" Yeah, and he was with it a hundred percent. So here That's we are. Awesome. We have a full book. Yes, That's awesome. So author to author, I do understand the process that's mm -hmm. involved in writing a book, and like you said. You go from, you know, just really putting thoughts to paper. Right. And then as you start thinking and putting it to paper, you remember certain things. And then you do, you know, start to have like this adrenaline and this mm -hmm. feeling of, oh, I can do this. And then you have so much more to say. Absolutely. So let's take a step back. 
-hmm. two years prior. I know you just published the book and mm -hmm. really just started writing the book this year, mm -hmm. but two years ago was really more of a priority and a focus for you to really help Cam right. get back to health and get the necessary healing mm -hmm. that he really needed. So talk to me a little bit about what that process was like. Well, initially, the the main thing I relied on was my faith mm -hmm. to help me get through yes. that process. And I'll be the first to admit that um, I questioned my faith a time of or course, two. Of course. But when you realize when you have nothing else to lean on, your faith is all you have to lean on. Absolutely. So uh, that was number one. We had a tremendous support system. That's uh, awesome. Friends, family, classmates, neighbors, coworkers, everybody came out to support us. It was, it was incredible. During that time, I also uh, found support groups online for traumatic brain injury that I never even knew Which is very existed. Necessary. Exactly. Very for gunshot necessary. victims, survivors. And though we had family and friends around us that were supportive, though that community was who actually helped me you know, gain cope. confidence yeah. to cope because I didn't know what to expect. Yeah, no, it's definitely mm -hmm. hard from one survivor to another. I, too, was also impacted by gun mm -hmm. violence. So, you and, know, yeah, you know well, what a support mom, group is like. Well, actually, I don't know. That's what I was going to oh, say. My okay. mom was actually murdered. There probably was some support groups, mm -hmm. but I just wasn't privy to them and I didn't know about them. Mm -hmm. So I felt like, you know, a lot of the things that were available now, as far as the right. support groups, I could have benefited from back then, but I wasn't able to. Right. So I can imagine what the support groups mm -hmm. do and how helpful they are. I think it's a really it's great necessary. Thing. It's very, very necessary. And then another thing I did, which is a risque topic in the black community, I had a therapist. Yeah. You know, which is very, very necessary. I still have a therapist because, you know, the that process continues. Necessary. Absolutely. You know, so um, that never was very important. Never let anybody make you feel like you don't Oh, need never. Money. I encourage it yeah, it's, as it's a matter of fact. It's, it's very it's, necessary. It's how I get through. Absolutely. And then lastly, just watching my son, um, just his resilience. And, that. you know, his, 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 his push, him wanting to get better and him rehabilitating that gave me inspiration every day i i can't complain who I am i to complain imagine i can only imagine mm -hmm. well we're gonna come right back we're gonna go to a quick break and we'll get to meet cam when we come back okay all right, all right. thank you <laughs>
the Shelly Roy Show, guys. I am joined here with Mr. Cam Dasher, victim of gun violence. Help me welcome Cam. Welcome, Cam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for being open to share your story with us. So, for myself and the audience, give us an idea of how gun violence has impacted your life. Um, so really, all I can really say is um, the biggest impact it has, it's had, I can say, um, really is the emotional impact. Um, um, it, that's really, to me, it's bigger than the physical impact it's had. Um, not only emotions as in um, being sad, you know, depressed, of course. Um, anxious. Yes. Um, it's, just, it's just a few things where... Um, you kind of you kind of look back and it's like um, it's kind of changed my perspective on a lot of things in life. Of course, you know, um, I, I say that as an emotional term. Mm -hmm. You know, um, um, really, really, the biggest emotional I feel daily is um, it's it's you no know, relief. Honestly, um, I say. It, Honestly, it, this could have been way worse, a lot worse, Absolutely. a lot worse. You're truly um, blessed. So a I see miracle. Exactly. So I see I see relief um, because I, I'm able to, you know, see another 24 hours, Absolutely. another day. Um, I love so. that. And you have an amazing mom Thank you. and amazing support. Don't do it because you. you got me tearing <laughs> up. So <laughs> you have an amazing mom and, a, and an amazing support system, which is really needed and which is what really helps Definitely. a person through. Mm -hmm. So explain to me how you feel about um, your mom writing a book and just sharing your overall ordeal and your story. Um, so it's actually funny you say that um, or you ask that. So when she first brought the idea to me about writing a book, um, of course I knew she was um, she was journaling the whole mm -hmm. time I was in the hospital, or ICU. Um, but when she came to me about writing a book, a book about it, um, you know, I was at first I was kind of iffy, you know, uh, because of course who, yeah, who who wants to you know be be in that kind of light. But you know, down the road, I would say maybe about. Mm, after after she began writing it, I felt like it's when my my mindset on this whole on the whole the whole ordeal kind of changed right. as to where um, you'd be helping somebody. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not really kind of like embarrassing. It's kind of like motivating Absolutely. to a point. You know, um, it's kind of like a a story you can tell. Absolutely. Um, so I I, I kind of felt actually glad that she wrote it. I was kind of glad I had a, at a certain point. Yeah. And that took courage mm -hmm. to you know sure. allow her to share your most yeah. vulnerable moments, and it took courage to come mm -hmm. sit with me on the show, and yeah. share your story. So <laughs> thank, you, thank, that's you, thank, really, you, thank you, thank really you, thank you, thank you. Really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you could tell young folks who have been impacted by mm -hmm. gun violence one thing, what would that one thing? Oh, one thing I would say um, don't 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 try to betray someone who you're not because Absolutely. then 
other others will, will think you know you're who you you're, you're, to you're exactly yeah. so you want to you want to stay true to who you actually are Amen. you don't you don't want to you know act like someone who you're not because like i said then you're gonna that's gonna be you know the status quo right exactly yeah making exactly. yourself a target exactly no i so, agree i mm -hmm. agree um, so before we close out, do you want to share with us what your social media handles are, where we can get the book? And Cam, if you're on social media, if you want to share your handles, okay. you can go first, Donna. Yeah, I'm social media. I'm like you, Shelly. I'm kind of <laughs> trying to figure out my balance with social media, but I am newly on Instagram yes. and that is D Marie Haynes, H-A-Y-N-E-S. You can get the book actually. This is yeah. what the book looks like here. You go can go it, on guys. our website yes. and the website is CincinnatiDoe.com and there's a button on there where you can actually purchase the book. We're on Amazon as well. We're trending on Amazon thanks to my preferred readers. Absolutely. Um, so you can actually search for us on Amazon as well. Okay, perfect. What about you, Cam? Yes, um, I'm actually on Instagram. at. Um, you can find me on Instagram at BCFBAM. That's B C F underscore Bam B A M, and then Twitter at um, Uberman Cam Uber, um, like the Uber car. Yes. Um, the man, <laughs> as in you know M A N, then Cam C A M. Um, so that's those are my two handles. And also as well, um, I kind of use my Instagram as a as a business platform really, okay. um, because I have, have I have my own business. So um, absolutely, let us have it. Um, so I trade for an exchange. So, okay. um, I trade. I trade foreign exchange. I invest in foreign exchange, and so um, I, I'm. I work with this business, um, and what we do is we teach you how, how to trade foreign exchange, as well as market your business. So you can you can trade foreign exchange, okay. and as well you know. Give us that website and um, Instagram. So the the website or the company is called IML, I M Masters Academy. Um, and then that's on my Instagram as well. So, you know, awesome. the link is in my, in my bio on Instagram. Perfect. So. Well, thank you so much, Cam. No problem. Thank you, Donna, for thank being you. here and sharing your story with us. Thank you, Charlotte. We so appreciate, appreciate it. it. Absolutely. We're going to go to a quick break. We'll be back shortly. Singletary.com. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I got next. Ain't nobody say nothing. <laughs> you see, I didn't even know. <laughs> I said, I got next. Ain't nobody yeah, say nothing. <laughs>
Shelly Roy Show. Welcome to the Shelly Roy Show. You're now tuned to the Shelly Roy Show. Boss talk, fashion walk, in mall, super no. Anything less is unacceptable. The Shelly Roy Show. Welcome to the Shelly Roy Show. You're now tuned to the Shelly Roy Show. Boss talk, fashion walk, in mall, super no. Anything less is unacceptable. to the Shelly Roy Show, guys. My next guest is a singer, songwriter, actress, as well as contestant on Seasons 16, The Voice. She's also here to promote her new Christmas album. You guys help me welcome Miss Beth Manley. Welcome, Beth. <laughs> Shelly, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And did I forget, guys, she flew all the way here from Detroit. I did, I did. Such an honor, Thank such you. a blessing. Thank you for the invitation. You should have never invited I me. We talked about that, right? I should have never let you in. <laughs> you should have never let me in. And you are looking fabulous. Thank you. Courtesy of Miss Amber Yes, your stylist Singer, got me Singletary. together. Yes. She is responsible for this Yes. fabulous wardrobe yes. and this makeup. So thank you so much. Thank Amber. you, Amber. You, I thank feel you beautiful. Thank you so, so yes. much. So let's get into it, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Tell me who is Beth and what's your story? Wow, my story. We don't have enough time for the entire story. <laughs> but well, sum it up if you can. Sum of it. Um, I am a lover of life. Yes, I love that. I love music. I love people. Um, we met and we just clicked, you Bobbed know, instantly. and um, I love to grow. I love to expand. I love to build. I'm yes, all of those things. I, yes. I love change. I um, can see that. It's it, all radiating. It, it, you know, sometimes change can be a challenge, but yes. it's always good. It's yes. always good if you want to grow. Absolutely. Um, I'm a wife. Um, I'm a daughter. Um, I'm a songwriter, I'm a singer, that. I'm an actress. I was just in an independent film that was just released a couple of days ago. That's so awesome. Working on my second album, just I released love a Christmas single. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to enjoy my life and enjoy the gifts that I came here with and use them to, to full capacity. And you are doing just that. Thank you. Thank you. Doing just that. Thank so quickly, before we get into introducing your single mm -hmm. from your Christmas album, what was it like really quickly being on The Voice? Being on The Voice was an amazing opportunity, an amazing experience. It changed my life. No regrets. I learned a lot. And I know that some of the things that I've dreamed of and wanted to do in my life, I know they're obtainable because I was able to be there Absolutely. and see there and touch it. It's tangible. It's not just a wish. It's not just a dream. Absolutely. It is available to me. So... Being able to work with Kelly Clarkson, being able to work with John Legend, being able to sing in front of, I think the average views a night were eight to nine million people. Wow. Being what able did to that have feel a, like? it, it, it was it's surreal actually, you know, because you go back on YouTube and you look at my videos. I have my blind audition has over a million views. Wow. Some of the duets I did five and six million views. That's a lot. That's a lot. And that's something and that's that the show helped me to obtain. So I'll, I'll forever take that with me. That's and I grew awesome. as an artist and I grew as a person. I know myself more now. I feel that. Yeah. I definitely feel Thank that. You. They shouldn't have never let you They should have never invited me. Well, listen. <laughs> that's a little thing. Not we, that's, have, we're not going to ever let that that's go. That's all right. Definitely. <laughs> right. I'm going to take that with me forever. Thank that you. was a great gem that you imparted oh, into you. me. So let's not have myself or the viewers wait any longer. Ooh, okay. We're going to go to a quick break. Okay. And we're going to hear this amazing voice that you have. Thank you. So we'll be back after the break, you guys. <laughs> Thank you. The Shelly Roy Show. Welcome to 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 the Shel
to the Shotty Roy Show. You're now tuned to the Shotty Roy Show. Boss talk, fashion walk in, mall supernova. Anything less is unacceptable. The Shotty Roy Show. Welcome to the Shotty Roy Show. You're now tuned to the Shotty Roy Show. Boss talk, fashion walk in, mall supernova. Anything less is unacceptable. Unacceptable guys to the Shelly Roy Show. I am here with Miss Beth Manley introducing and singing her new single off of her Christmas album, Christmas Lullaby. Welcome. Team! 
you guys wasn't that amazing Beth has an amazing voice you guys make sure you go and purchase and download the single Christmas lullaby it's on all platforms iTunes Google Play and Apple I want to thank you guys you guys have been an amazing audience amazing guests thank you so much to Miss Beth Manley again thank you so much to Miss Donna Haynes and Cam and last but not least, Mr. Alan Genesis himself, thank you so much. And to all of my guests and my social media followers, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I am getting emotional. Happy New Year, guys, from the Shelly Roy Show. <laughs> Anything less is unacceptable. 